Hello guys, welcome back to our channel Learn with Gigs. Today I am back with another video on SQL interview questions for Power BI. I have already uploaded the first part of this video series. I will provide the link in the description box so please check out that video too, it will help you a lot. If you are new to this channel then I would recommend you to watch my Power BI interview Q&A video series also. It will help you a lot in cracking the interview for Power BI developer position. The link of the playlist I will provide in the description box. So go and check out the playlist also. It takes a lot of effort to prepare these valuable videos and upload it for you all. So please support and hit the like and subscribe button. Let's start the video without wasting any time. So it's basically focused on the SQL queries that are being frequently asked along with Power BI. So let's start. This is the first question. How can you find the duplicate rows in a table if suppose first name and last name columns are your row identifiers? Write the SQL code in the chat section. Pause the video and think of the solution. Let's have the solution. So this is the query that you should write. Select first name comma last name from table customer group by first name comma last name and having count of star greater than one. So this query will give you the duplicate re records where first name and last name are acting as your row identifiers. So in this way you can answer this question or write the code in the chat. Okay, so let's move ahead with the next question. Write the SQL code to fetch only the first name from the name column. Think of the answer. Let's have the answer. So we can make use of substring function to implement this requirement. As you can see here, substring function takes three arguments. First one is the string, means the column which we want to modify. Then the starting position of the string and the length, length up to which we want to extract the string. Okay. So here we have implemented this substring. Substring name, name is the name of the column. One means the starting position and the char index function. So this will provide us the length up to which we want to extract. So we want to extract up to the space, right? Then only we will get the first name. And then, and then we have named the column as first name using alias. So select substring name comma one comma char index space comma name as first name from the table employees. So in this way you can answer this question. Okay, let's move ahead with the next question. How will you copy data from one table to another through a SQL code? Okay. Think of the answer. Let's have the answer. So we can make use of insert into command. So insert into employee underscore duplicate table. This is the new table that we are creating. Insert into employee underscore duplicate. Select star from employee table. So this is the original table from which we are copying the data. So in this way you can copy the data from one table to another. Insert into employee underscore duplicate. Select star from employee. Now if you want to verify that your query that you have written is correct then write just write this statement select star from employee underscore duplicate. So now this employee underscore duplicate table will have all the data copied from employee table. Okay, so let's move ahead with the next question. Which function will you use to replace a particular part of string with another name? Okay, let's have the solution now. So we can make use of stuff function to implement this requirement. As you can see here, stuff takes four arguments, string one, the string that we want to change, position, starting position, length, up to what length the string is, and the string two, the, this is the string that we want to replace with. So how we implemented this stuff, suppose the string is equal bi, comma one, that's the starting position, the length of the string that we want to replace, and the string that we want to replace with, that is power. So the resulting value will be power bi instead of sql bi, okay. Let's move ahead with the next question. So write a SQL code to get the details first name, last name from employee table and department name from department table using a subquery. Subquery or a nested query or a inner query, whatever you can say. Okay, let's have the solution now. So in this way, you can make use of subquery or the nested query. Select e dot first name, comma e dot last name, comma dp dot department name from employee space e, e is the alias for employee table where e dot employee number we will make use of in and use this nested query select dp dot employee number from department table so it will check the employee numbers which are common in both the tables that is employee table and the department table and get the required information displayed so in this way we can make use of inner query or sub query to implement this requirement this can also be done using exist so that case that solution is also possible okay let's move ahead with the next question and this is the last question for this video 
How can you create a new column in a table with some hard coded value? Think of the answer. Let's have the solution. So we can make use of collage function to achieve this requirement. Okay. For example, select department number, comma department name, comma collage department manager NA as department manager from department table. Okay. So now what will be the solution or what will be the output of this query? We will be having three columns with name as department number, department name and department manager as the third column having hard coded values as department manager NA in all the rows. Okay. In this way you can create a hard coded column, a new column in your existing query. So in this way you can answer this question. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you learned a lot through this video and got some idea about the SQL question as in Power BI interviews. Next video will be on some more SQL queries that are being frequently asked. So stay tuned and once again I would request you to please hit the like and subscribe button as it will give me the motivation to upload more videos for you all. Thank you.